Welcome back to another Honest Smartphone review here on Smartphone Wars. And today's subject is the Xiaomi Mi 5X. Stephen Fox, and I have here you finally my Xiaomi Mi 5X Honest review. Watch it to know if this is the smartphone you want to get for around $250 in 2017. For me, the Xiaomi Mi 5X is definitely a step in the right direction when it comes to build quality and general feel to it. This is a very premium looking phone. It doesn't let up one bit to the iPhone 7 X and OnePlus 5's quality in general. When you hold it in field, you know that you're getting a premium device. I just want to get one thing clear. I just love the Xiaomi Mi 5X. How it looks, how it handles, how it feels. It's a step in the right direction when it comes to design and build quality in my books even if it does resemble some phones yes you can call it a phone clone if you want to but it's still very distinctive in its own way and what really matters is the user experience and my user experience with this phone has been not only positive but superb so far it's just a magnificent device very well crafted very sleek luxurious and elegant looking phone that feels like it punches much much above its uh, price tag and in most cases it usually does. Now I'm jumping up the gun here and directly comparing its build quality and size and feel to the OnePlus 5 here. Yes I do have the OnePlus 5 and this is the most expensive version, the 8GB RAM, 128GB but as you can see when it comes to display and handling the Xiaomi Mi 5X definitely can hold its own and both phones look very good. Can you tell which one costs more by looking at this? No, if you don't know that this is the OnePlus 5, if I just take it out, you wouldn't know really. The Mi 5X is a very well built phone, very nice looking, very premium feel to it and it, when it comes to build quality and design, it definitely holds its own against the OnePlus 5. There's ever a reason for you to choose the Mi 5X over many other phones in this price category is the display quality. Xiaomi have really done a magnificent display here. It's not AMOLED, but it's very good, has very good sunlight visibility, great viewing angles, accurate colors. It's just a premium display on a $250 phone. I'll just go out and say this is the best display I've ever seen in a sub $300 phone. Colors are accurate, sunlight visibility is very, very good as you can see and it just feels wonderful to operate, colors are punchy but again not oversaturated, blacks are very deep, it's a wonderful display for viewing media, playing games and generally everything the touch is so nice and silky smooth on it, it's, it, it's a very very fine build display. I will tell you the Snapdragon 625's performance in the Mi 5X is astounding. I don't know if it's the new Android or if they've uh, optimized the chip in general, put faster storage, faster RAM in it, but gaming and everything runs much smoother than it does on the previous phones like uh, Redmi Note 4X and Redmi 4. Hold your horses, I will get to those Antutu benchmarks and gaming tests in a bit later on. But what's really important what you do most of the day is uh, your general user activity and general performance and uh, I'm glad to say that the Snapdragon 625 not only has it not aged but it has become better I don't know if it's uh, the refined MIUI, a faster RAM, faster chip, it does score a bit higher than the previous models I've tested from Xiaomi with the same chip but the user experience is super good, uh, apps open very quickly, very smooth user experience switching between apps uh, the MIUI doesn't reload almost anything with the 4 gigs of RAM present here as well, the browsing experience is top notch on any Snapdragon 625, and here is just exceptional. Um, if you're not coming from, say, Samsung S7 Edge or like the last year's really, really top flagship devices, you will definitely feel that you're running an expensive, fast phone rather than a mid range one. And uh, of course, MIUI is known for its very, very cool customization options. And I just wanted to show you a few teams that I downloaded. There's plenty of free teams and wallpapers for you to choose from, so you never get uh, bored with how your phone looks and feels. There's quite, quite a few options, like literally hundreds of free teams and wallpapers in there. 
and you can also install an additional launcher if you want if you don't like the new ice launcher you can install nova in there or whatever is your game arrow or whatever it is and still get the experience you want to from it and now let's check the speaker quality on the mi 5x Another thing that uh, Xiaomi users have definitely grown accustomed to is having large batteries in their phone. And the Mi 5X here is uh, not the largest one, it's 3080 mAh, but it does deliver very good battery life. You will get around 5 to 7 hours of screen on time using the Mi 5X even on heavy days. So it will probably last two days of regular usage to all of you out there with 4G and GPS turned on all the time, which I can't say it's bad battery life. It's a bit inferior to the Redmi Note 4X but the build quality and the camera model make up for it. And yes, we now have come to the benchmark section. Here, as you can see, very, very good scores. Everything is uh, in the mid-range level, but what's really important is the PC Mark 2.0 score. Do download this and run it on your phone. This is the actual benchmark that shows you how good your phone is every day. And uh, the B5X scores wonderfully. Any phone that scores over 4,000 in PC Mark is by far an excellent daily driver in my books and of course nothing will compete without gaming and this is me gaming outside on a very sunny day as you can see the display is quite visible the games the heavy games the model combat 5 this Q-Shot virus very graphically intensive games on android run very very well on the mi 5x and the snapdragon 1625 almost no hiccups almost no drop frames it's a very very capable gaming phone and it's able to sustain good gaming performance for a long time without any cooling issues whatsoever this is a very very cool phone runs uh, you can be gaming for 40 50 minutes an hour even if you will not feel it get hot it will get just a bit warm this is something that i can't say for most chinese devices i reviewed and definitely gaming performance is one of the better things here on the mi 5x so you're getting a Snapdragon 625 but it's still a very very good chip for gaming and general performance. The Xiaomi 5X takes the iPhone 7s and OnePlus 5 approach to dual cameras instead of Huawei's which means that it has two different sensors and one of the sensors is uh, used uh, for regular photos. It's a wide angle sensor and one is a narrow angle lens sensor that's used to take portrait mode and both cameras are active when it comes to zoom, so you do get two times lossless zoom with the Mi 5X as well. And of course, let's jump right into the portrait mode. You just click on the portrait icon in the camera UI and it switches on to the telephoto lens for that uh, portrait mode effect. My fiance is a bit shy, but once I talk to her, she can smile and uh, as you can see the results are very very good this delivers an excellent portrait mode for the price it's not as good uh, as the iphone 7s and oneplus 5 but it's definitely not much worse it uh, even in low light delivers very good shots uh, even when the targets are moving this is a very very good camera phone uh, if you've not known this by now i've uh, really loved using this uh, device as my melee driver for cameras inside outside in low light in good light it still delivers very very quality photos for the price for the asking price here doesn't matter if you're shooting uh, your dinner your lunch uh, a good scenery everything is just okay there's a fast shutter speed uh, there's plenty of detail when you view the photo on your pc later on so a very very good camera experience in my books uh, um is it the best camera phone for around 300 dollars it very well might be um, it's definitely on par with the Huawei P10 Lite when it comes to the main camera and it's much better video quality than anything I've tested in this price range the 4k video is absolutely amazing even if there is no stabilization on it it still doesn't feel as shaky as other phones I've used even the OnePlus 5 feels a bit more shaky before the recent update and I absolutely love the 720p slow motion quality in the phone and the 4K video. This is a 4K video recorded uh, around uh, sunset near the center of my town in Sofia, it's in Bulgaria. There is uh, 
basically no focus hunting uh, going on very accurate video and this is the slow motion 720p uh, which is of breathtaking quality when there is enough light in the scene I just absolutely love taking slow motion videos with this phone it's amazing and here is uh, the same fountain you saw a minute ago it's just a very good camera phone and here's some regular shots that I've taken with it. Uh, say, uh, as I said, in good lighting conditions, you just pop it out, take a photo, and 90% uh, of the times it will look absolutely great. I love how this phone handles uh, everything uh, when it comes to the camera. Even low light performance is definitely okay for the price here. One thing that um, is uh, really neglected a bit in Xiaomi is uh, you do get manual mode for both sensors so you can think around with that but uh, the exposure time you can set is uh, not up to power I'm used to there's no 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16, 32 second exposure on this phone they may add it later with an update but so far you can't do long exposure shots with the Mi 5X when it comes to the front camera the experience is okay Photos in good light, usable for social media, but as light goes down, more and more starts creeping in. This is just a 5 megapixel sensor. I do wish Xiaomi puts a little bit better front camera, but it's still okay. Uh, there's better camera phones at this price, like the Huawei P10 Lite and the Meizu E2. If you want a better selfie camera phone, that is. And the video quality is okay, but definitely not great. You know, I usually do a video the things I don't like about the phone but there really isn't anything that I really dislike about the Mi 5X it's just a very good all-round device two things that I think Xiaomi could have addressed here definitely an NFC in this price category should be in 2017 present and the front camera <laughs> is uh, that at this price point I think Xiaomi could could have included NFC in there and a better front camera in my opinion I don't think anybody will be disappointed with the Mi 5X. It's just a very, very good phone and for me a step in the right direction for Xiaomi when it comes to build quality and offering premium features on a sub $300 phone. This has been Stephen Fox. Thank you for watching my Mi 5X review. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope to have you into picking or not picking a Mi 5X. This is what I aim to do with all of my reviews. Give the video a thumbs up uh, if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you want more honest smartphone reviews you can buy the Mi 5X from the link in the video description below yeah. stick around